It's opening weekend for Marvel's highly anticipated first ever Asian-led superhero movie called Shang-Chi. Parts of the history-making film were shot and set right here in San Francisco. KPX Spice Betty Yu sat down with the lead star. I told my men they wouldn't be able to kill you if they tried. Marvel's newest blockbuster, Shang-Chi, and the legend of the Ten Rings is breaking boundaries like never before. It's already smashed the record for Labor Day openings with an estimated $71 million in ticket sales. It's also one of the best debuts of the pandemic. Lead actor, Simu Liu. And you really manifested your dreams. How do you define superhero now that you are one? It's crazy. I mean, there, there's parts of it that I'm not... I'm not used to, there's definitely, I'm not used to having a, an action figure or anything like that. So I guess that comes with it. But I think a superhero, you know, aside from all of the, you know, the movie posters and the, and the, you know, capes and, you know, all of that, I think the best ones are ordinary people who, under extraordinary circumstances, do the right thing. The movie is directed and written by Asian Americans. It's ultimately a family drama about a young immigrant who refuses to follow in his father's footsteps. And there are people out there who say, well, it's an all Asian cast. Is this just another martial arts movie with a bunch of Asians? This story is told through our lens. And, and what I mean by that is, you know, that there are going to be moments that are nuanced, that are not explained, that are not hit over, you know, the audience's head, that just show you this is the space that we live in, right? It's, it's the moments like Sean taking off his Jordans as he's entering Katie's apartment. Shang-Chi is debuting at a time when the Asian American community is looking for more representation and visibility. Liu, who grew up in Canada, said he's turned his own shame into pride. It was clear to me, at least, very early on in my life, that that, that Asian-ness was, was not something that was valued by the culture that I lived in or the society that I lived in. And so, and so I had to try to hide that as much as I could and, and try to assimilate. And, um, and what I'm really, really happy to have gone on in my personal journey, in my life, is a sense of coming full circle and recognizing where I came from and recognizing my parents' story and all the work and the sacrifices that they made. You, you know how to push the boundaries of pop culture. You've done it. Your advice to anyone who's a few steps behind you? Um, I would say your community is your superpower. You know, um, learn to see who you are as a, as a strength and, and lean into that and be proud of that. And uh, don't be afraid to get a little squeaky. In San Francisco, Betty Yu, KPIX 5. And Betty tells us several stunt scenes were filmed in San Francisco, but because of restrictions during the pandemic, the crews had to build and create San Francisco landmarks and infrastructure in Australia.